Hi, my name is Rachel Roberts and I attend the University of Central Florida. I am majoring in biology and I'm on a pre-veterinary track with an entrepreneurship minor. The STEM topic that I am interested in and that I believe is important is chemistry. Currently, I am taking an organic chemistry class in a chemistry lab. For my major, I have to take a majority of chemistry classes because most science fields are heavily related to chemistry. Organic chemistry especially interests me because you look into the structures of certain molecules, specifically organic compounds, which contain the atom carbon, which make up every living thing. The structure of the molecules is important in the creation and interactions of medicines. And thanks to chemistry, there's been major contributions to healthcare. For example, it could be the creation of synthetic insulin for diabetes. Currently, I work as a veterinary technician at an emergency veterinary hospital. At this hospital, we use chemistry constantly. For example, we use chemistry when running your analysis tests and we have multiple machines to help run blood tests. We use chemistry to diagnose diseases and to monitor an animal's health. So it is heavily used every single day at the veterinary office. Two tests that I can tell you about are the Chemistry 17 test, which tests for electrolytes, kidney functions, liver functions, red and white blood cell count, and other things in the blood. And the Chemistry 10 test, which tests for metabolism, blood sugar, and other traces in the blood. For this dog on screen, we're monitoring the blood sugar every four hours using a glucose meter. Each test requires a certain amount of either blood or serum. For the Chem 17 test, we use a small amount of serum from spinning blood. Serum is the liquid part of blood that contains no clotting factors, and it carries electrolytes, antigens, hormones, and other substances that are important when we need to monitor the blood. Also, as you can see in the video, we have to be very careful with the serum because we don't want any bubbles in the sample. So we have to take one drop at a time and put it into the sample cup for testing. And as you can see, I'm putting in these small analyzer chips into the chemistry analyzer machine. And for this one, we're doing a chemistry 17 test, so I'm putting the two needed chips inside. For different tests, you will put in different chips. I enjoy seeing chemistry in my everyday life and know that without the extensive research in chemistry, we would not be as advanced in medicine and in the veterinary field.